Hello guys! Christmas is a very meaningful time. Even if you don't believe in God, you will agree this is the season when we often think about our achievements and how important it is for good to always prevail over evil. What is the best Christmas present for a Ukrainian, even for a Ukrainian woman like me? Well, an Atakans or a Patriot or maybe even F-16 finally reaching Ukrainian skies. That's why today's Rammstein meeting and the information that we received from our allies is so important. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight informational war. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Well, I am a Ukrainian and this means I've learned a lot of names of different kinds of weapons we need to protect our land. And we are very grateful for the support of our allies that do everything to help us win this very violent and very unjust war not just for Ukraine, but for the well-being of democracy in the world globally. Today we have a meeting of Rammstein Group that consists of more than 50 countries who stand together with Ukraine and despite some fatigue, despite different troubles that each of us have in our own countries, we stay united against evil, against Russia. If you're not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe. So, uh, a couple of days ago, like two days ago, uh, the Minister of Defense of the US and the head of Pentagon, Austin, visited Ukraine, met with President Zelensky, and it was a very good signal because there are many important things that cannot be discussed online. And most likely he was visiting to get the updates from the Ukrainian armed forces, how do we plan to spend this winter months, and all of us are ready to fight and to defeat Russia. It is also very likely that Zelensky told him the things we need and the things um, are needed to stop Russian invaders. Mainly, it's about air defense that saves lives of Ukrainian civilians and also about some surprises. And one of these really good potential surprises is a new HIMARS system. Washington Post wrote about the surprise inside the HIMARS system that may allow it to shoot long-range missiles. And this is fantastic. We have tried a couple of Atacams missiles and all of them demonstrated really good results. That's why you can invest in Ukrainian armed forces. They will guarantee success, peace and normality after the fall of Putin's regime. Like and share, informational war is real. Also, uh, during those days we had a visit of the Minister of Defense of Germany. Uh, who um, also said that they continue supporting Ukraine as long as it takes. They uh, are ready to support us in weapons, humanitarian aid, and um, it's very likely once again that all of these ministers of defense, Austin and Pistorius, were collecting this secret updates from the Ukrainian battlefield and developing a joint strategy, which is a very good signal to those trolls who try spreading information that like the West is weak, the West is giving up on Ukraine. No, Russia is falling and many this, I don't know, how do you call this, birds that eat something dead, they are flying about Russia like China. And, uh, of course, it goes without saying that democratic procedures of supplies is really bureaucratic and long. That's why, you remember, we celebrated the decision of F-16 like half a year ago and still waiting for the training for the planes to come here. The same about artillery and other stuff. Russia with its dictatorship, uh, friends like North Korea or Iran gets everything it needs in a couple of days. They supply it with missiles, it needs with artillery, without any negotiations, without any agreements. But uh, I am ready to wait, understanding that we save and protect the standards the democracy develops and stands on. Also, we are super grateful to the people of the Netherlands. Uh, they have announced 2 billion support for the 2024. 
and uh, this also means that while well, the US is having some troubles with budgeting not only connected to Ukraine, we have to understand Russia does a lot, first of all, to quarrel us. Uh, elections are always turbulent times. And I think that in general, the polls, the support of the, our partners in the US is visible and everything will be all right. Uh, by the way, we are approaching of uh, the, the day of Thanksgiving and I think like there will be lots and lots and lots of thanks for beautiful people who help save Ukrainian lives and normality in Europe and the world for the future generations. So anyway, this Rammstein meeting is very good because it demonstrates countries cooperate, ministers talk, they know everything about Ukraine, we're not hiding, they know our plans, they know our fears, they know our strengths and they support us on the way to stop finally this Russian errorism, how do you call it? Maybe we should invent a new word, errorism, <laughs> so that YouTube will not sneeze when I say it. And um, uh, the support continues, our unity continues, and good always prevails over evil. Sometimes when I feel a little bit down, when I get some uh, doubts, when some politicians say something bad, um, I uh, recollect the times of the Second World War. How many countries actually fell at the beginning uh, to the Nazi Germany? They did not know what to do. Uh, many hoped it can be appeased somehow, it will stop. But later realized people of the United Kingdom, their bravery and their leader Winston Churchill played a very important role and we all united and we finished that evil regime. Of course, it would be fantastic if we'd managed to finish uh, Soviet regime too after the Nazi regime because the number of victims is equal. Anyway, um, the good conclusions of this meeting today, of Rammstein meeting today are Ukraine has really strong and faithful allies. Uh, we are getting ready for winter and if Russia does something bad to us, it will definitely get um, an answer. It's very likely that we will have some surprises like HIMARS with the possibility to shoot long-range missiles, which will mean more long-range missiles. Also, Ukrainian people and armed forces demonstrate resilience and high level of effectiveness. That's why you can trust us, your safety too, because we do protect not only Ukraine. I'm sorry, maybe it sounds selfish, but I believe it that way. It's not just about Ukraine. And also, that uh, we uh, are going to be united until we finally end this regime and start curing people in Russia because they like it, many of them like it, even if we try to think no, but that's how it looks. So um, these are good news and um, let me know what are the other topics you'd like to hear and also let me know would you like to have a live this Saturday because I feel like I've missed you a lot so maybe we can talk about like winter because I actually have minus two Celsius and snow outside and it's super slippery and it actually looks like Christmas already. And it's just the Black Friday approaching. So we have minus 15% since tomorrow in our shop. Go check our merch and choose what you like and you will have this opportunity to buy beautiful sweaters, pillowcases, cups, stickers that work as conversation starters starting from tomorrow. And subscribe to my Instagram threads and Twitter. Join my Discord community. And thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my pa patrons. Thank you so much for uh, being friends, giving your advice, asking your questions. I so much value our community that will soon reach 100,000 friends. I'm honored to have you. Slava Ukraini!